58,000 plus came to see a show for the ages. And they got an instant classic. <laughs> the $5 million Breeders' Cup Classic goes to the Queen Z. You saw her unleash that powerful turn of foot in the stretch. Reeling in her competition, we're going to show you that race in its entirety and wrap up the entire two days of the Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships, number 26. Good evening and welcome to the set just off the finish line. Along with trainer Ron Ellis and Bob Bedeker, I am Ken Rudolph. And gentlemen, what more can you say? It turned out to be everything we wanted it to be and then some. Oh, isn't that the truth? I mean, so often we're disappointed with all the buildup and all the expectations, and certainly we had them this year, but Trevor Denman said it best coming down the stretch. It was just unbelievable. When she kicked into that gear like we've seen her do 13 other times, the day she did it on the world stage and beat the Colts, Ron, it was remarkable. Yeah, and if you weren't able to make it out here uh, for this race, I'm sorry, because this was the most <laughs> exciting mm -hmm. race that I've ever seen here at Santa Anita, yeah. and it was the most popular race in my 20-something years of going to the races that I've ever seen at a mm -hmm. Uh, witnessed in, in person. It was absolutely amazing. I think everybody in the crowd mm -hmm. going crazy. Yeah, this is going to be one of those events where you're going to be able to look back and those who were fortunate enough to be out here and say, I was there that day that that Philly ran that, that mayor ran that unbelievable race. And, you know, we had two days of just terrific racing here and most of the races went without a hiccup. No problems, you know, uh, around the gate or, or during the running of the race. Everybody came back healthy and that was mm -hmm. what we're looking for first and foremost. But then just prior to the start of this one, we had the Incident around the gate, and everybody's kind of holding their breath, saying, "Not now." Unfortunately, Quality Road had to be scratched out of the classic. But um, after that, it was just an amazing uh, couple of minutes. You've got five million dollars on the line, and the best horses from around the world. You're going to get a little bit of drama, and then you get the payoff. Let's take you to it right now, in its entirety, at a mile and a quarter. It is the five million dollar Breeders' Cup Classic. Five million dollar Breeders' Cup Classic. Feels St. Amelie in the Breeders' Cup Classic to the roar of the Santa Anita crowd. Regal Ransom bounced away quickly. Zenyatta is dead last. Zenyatta's dead last early. It's Regal Ransom going on. Gio Ponte, Einstein is right there. Colonel John in the white colors. Summerbird has the red cap in the vanguard too. Rip Van Winkle is on the outside and twice over racing right behind them. They tightly grouped and not in a big hurry out on the lead. Then it's awesome Jim. Gio Ponte's back fourth last. Been followed then by Richard's kid. Then comes Mind Mad Bird and Zenyatta is dead last. Zenyatta last. Got to be giving them about 10, 11 length start. They go to the three-quarter pole now in the Classic, and it's Regal Ransom just setting a sensible pace, not in a big hurry out here. Rip Van Winkle now goes up second, and Colonel John scrapes the paint in third. Einstein's right there, too. Girolamo, white cap, far side. Here's Kent Desormo and Summerbird. They six at the rail, just five off the leader. Then it comes twice over. Awesome German Gio Ponti's giving them seven lane start. Then it's Richard's kid. Now here's Zenyatta. Zenyatta is still a good 10 11 off the leaders. And then it's four back to mine that bird. A half mile to go now in the Classic, and still the leader is Regal Ransom, a length and a half. Rip Van Winkle being sent along after him, then Colonel John. On the far side, Girolamo. Einstein is right there. Summerbird at the rail, twice over is next. Then Awesome Jim, Gio Ponti's behind that, then Richard's kid. And now here's Zenyatta, and let's see. Zenyatta has a lot, a lot of ground to make up. Zenyatta, if she wins this, she'll be a super horse. She's starting to pick them off, though. Zenyatta going to hook to the outside. Meanwhile, it's Colonel John. Summerbird in the red cap. Look out, Zenyatta's coming to the outside. Zenyatta coming, flying on the grandstand side. Gio Ponti on the inside. Summerbird is right there. This is unbelievable. Zenyatta, what a performance. One we'll never forget. Look impossible, but it is Zenyatta. We've seen that move. Times before, but it never gets any more impressive. We'll talk so much more in depth about the performance today from Zenyatta, 14 for 14. And believe it or not, someone needed her to make $1.8 million in the pick six. But our chances for money are not over yet. We've got one more race coming your way. The 10th and final on the card today for the Oak Tree meeting is the 40th running of the Oak Tree Derby. It's coming your way now. It's worth $150,000. Want to keep that good vibe going. Acclamation 
kicks off your post parade. Joe Talamo looking for another winner on the card. Got his first Breeders' Cup victory with the California flag. Yeah, congratulations to Joe, and he's been the regular pilot for this the last couple of races. Good, solid efforts, both in the Del Mar Derby and then in the uh, race at Fairplex. Uh, the two horse, Augustus the Strong, he broke his maiden on the turf, but basically he's been uh, running on synthetics his first start in this country. Next in line, uh, Meteor, Meteor, will be the three. Yeah. Meteor next in line with Rafael Bejarano. He was a sharp winner of the La Jolla Handicap, the grade two at Del Mar. The four horses, no inflation. He is going to be one of the pace setters in here, and there's not a lot of speed to go with him. Oil Man, the Irish bred, is coming out of a um, decent effort in the Del Mar Derby. He was fifth, but he was only beating a couple of links in that one. Masoni, he ventured to the Oklahoma Derby last time, ran a very good second to Fiddler's of Fleet, and uh, before that, in third in the Super Derby. Rendezvous is next. This one for Jerry Hollendorfer. Joel Rosario, uh, Joel Rosario was aboard for his win in the Del Mar Derby. He's back aboard today. The eight horse unusual QT. He beat older in the Cal Cup mile. He's stepping up a little bit against these three year olds. And Battle of Hastings, uh, one of the top three year old turf horses in the country. He's been around. He's been winning at every venue and he's back here today at uh, Santa Anita where he's perfect over this turf course. The 11 horse Gretzky, he uh, he gets close to these kind. He was ran sixth, beating only two lengths to rendezvous in the Del Mar Derby. And Tambourine, one of the long shots in here, looks to be up against it for Dave Dave Hoffmans and uh, Richard Migliori, and he's going to round out the field. And that is your field for race number 10, the 40th running of the Oak Tree Derby. Grade two event over the turf course at a mile and an eighth. The usual QT is a perfect way to round out the day. A massive price on a contender who's in great form, winning three consecutive. Well, as I mentioned, he beat older horses last time. That was a cowbred, uh, cowbred uh, race at a mile. And uh, he's just been kind of getting a little bit better as he goes along. He's been settling down. He's a nervous type horse, but uh, kind of he's on a roll anyways. What do you mean he unusual is, heat yeah. offspring yeah. or nervous kind of horses? <laughs> you get your yeah. trainer's license from? <laughs> 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 the rest of your fielding, the nine, is a horse that obviously has a tremendous amount of talent and back class, Ron, but is he the kind of horse that has maybe a limited turn of foot in the stretch? Well, the only thing I worry about with uh, Battle of Hastings, he's done a lot of traveling this year. He went to uh, Centennial a couple times, ran very good races there against some uh, some good horses to uh, take the points. Very nice horse. Uh, he lost by a nose to Rendezvous down at Del Mar. So this is a horse probably deserves to be the favorite. I just get a little bit worried if he's been traveling uh, a little too much this year. Yeah, he's traveled a lot, had a lot of tough races. Races run where he's just really had to lay his body down to, to win, and he's done that. You just wonder at what point that that's going to show the effects, and we'll see whether or not uh, it does affect him today, but there's no question about his talent. Fourth last time, it wasn't an embarrassing effort against a horse like Court Vision. It is a good sized field, but you know, I'm often wondering about the pace scenario in here as far as the speed. There is some to the inside in acclimation and then no inflation, and then after that, I'm not sure. Who else is going to go? Yeah, you have to go out to um, the eight horse, the usual. You think maybe that one gets yeah, involved? Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's been involved and in, uh, been chasing some pretty quick early fractions early on. Then outside to the 12 horse tambourine, who might be involved for part. I don't think he's going to stick around long, but he might right. be in part in the early fractions. And that's all you need sometimes. That's well, right. Well, acclimation and no inflation are going to have a good time of it. And, you know, the, hor the uh, speed's been holding well on the turf today. Uh, other than Goldakova, she made uh, she made yeah. that big turn of oh foot and uh, made the yeah. speed look a little weary. But uh, yeah. other than her, it's been uh, holding pretty well at the meet. It's another great betting opportunity here as we wrap up day number two, Breeders' Cup World Throwbread Championships. Thrilling finishes from start to finish, as 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 we expected. Some great prices, some surprises, and some class that prevailed. So we've had a little bit of everything. And in this race, while we do have an eight to five favorite. You know, with a good sized field going around a ground over the turf course, well, it is ripe for some good exotics. Oh, I think it is. It's a very contentious field and a, and a big field here. I like the six horse in here. Uh, Frankie DeTore is staying around to ride this one for uh, Ron McAnally, Missoni. And uh, this one is, is talk about traveling around. Ron, he's done that too. He's gone from California back to, to Keeneland, up to Northern California, down into Louisiana Downs. And he's been running good, solid races overall. And he's. If anything, not shown the effects of that. He's even training, from what I understand, better than ever before. He's got a couple of good workouts ready for this race, so I expect him to step up with a big effort.